Hello everyone, hope you are all doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code bi-weekly contest 106. Uh, it's a medium level problem. Um, and I personally don't know why the accuracy is so low. You can see out of 30,000 solutions, only roughly 8,000 are accepted. Uh, so let's see, let's see what the problem is asking us to do. So the problem name is find the longest semi repetitive substring. So you are given a zero index string S that consists of digits from zero to nine. Now a string T is called semi repetitive if there is at most one consecutive pair of the same digits inside T. Return the length of the longest semi repetitive substring inside S. Now what is a substring? A substring is a continuous non empty sequence of characters within a string, right? Let's see what it's trying to say. So you are given a string. You have to find the length of the longest semi repetitive substring. What is semi repetitive? in which there is at most one consecutive pair, right? Like for example, five, two, two, three, three. What are the consecutive pairs? This is one pair, this is second pair, right? So let's see what is the longest substring that I can form. I can choose which has only one consecutive, you know, repetitive character. So I can choose five, two, two, three. If I choose five, two, two, three, there is only one consecutive, you know, what, what do you call it? Character. What's the second option? If you choose this, so, you can choose two, three, three. So here the length is four and here the length is three, right? So obviously four is your answer. This is the largest string that you can choose. Why this is the largest string? Because the repetitive string that you are choosing is suppose present here. So there are some unique characters here and unique characters here, okay? By unique, I mean no consecutive characters are there, right? Let's see this, five, four, nine, four. So there is no, you know, uh, same character at consecutive position. So you can choose the whole string, right? So answer is four. What about this one? You have one, 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 and a number of times. So that means you can choose only, only two characters. The moment you choose any third consecutive character, you get two repetitive pairs, right? So that's why the answer is two. You can choose any two of them. So that's the problem. Now, there are multiple ways to solve this problem. However, if you see the constraints, the length of the string can be at most 50 and all the obviously each character can lie between 0 to 9, right? So since the constraints are very low, I basically what I did was uh, I, I, I wrote a brute force solution again because it was a contest and I was short of time. So what I did was I generated all the substrings like for example, let's choose 52233. 3, okay, so 52233. 2, 3, 3 generate all the substrings okay like for example starting from here generate all the substrings right 5 5 2 5 2 2 5 sorry 5 2 2 3 5 2 2 3 3 right and what you do as soon as you are generating a substring right like for, for example 5 write a utility function which checks whether your string is valid or not right what do i mean by validity that means there are at most one consecutive repetitive pair, right? Semi repetitive string, whatever the term is there in the question. Here it is valid, okay? If it is valid, keep on updating your answer with the maximum length, maximum length of valid string, right? Here it is valid, length is two, valid two, valid three, not valid, okay? Now similarly, generate all the substrings starting from this character. So it will be two, 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 three, two, two, three, three, valid one, valid two, valid two not valid, two consecutive pairs, right? Similarly, you do for all the positions. So that's what I have done. Now, if you're looking for an optimized solution, yes, you can write the code. The code will be relatively simple. What you can do is suppose you have five, two, two, three, three. I'll just show you the code, but how do you write it, right? So note down the positions where you are getting consecutive characters. For example, here you are getting consecutive characters and here you are getting consecutive characters, right? So all you need to do, suppose you have noted down the indices, i1, i2, i3, i4 and so on. So here all you need to do is check for the difference in the, you know, uh, consecutive indices. Here you have a consecutive pair, here you have a consecutive pair, right? You can include only one of them. If you include this, then what are the characters you can include? Left hand side, right? Because there is no consecutive character here. This character and one of these characters, right? If you include this, what do you can include? right if you include this what do you can include all the characters on the left hand side single character this 
all the characters on the right hand side single character this right it's just about the implementation but the logic is like this right so it will be sort of a linear time algorithm right if you if here the constraints are low the length is 50 suppose it is 10 raised to power 5 okay then obviously this the solution that we have written it's the brute force one right it will give you time limit exceeded so this is the approach you can use right now let me show you what i have written so as i told you answer is initialized by zero i equals to zero i less than s dot length i plus plus i have taken a string builder okay because i need to append each and every character for example five two two three three right i start with five okay i start with five just see j starts from i and j goes to s dot length right so str dot append s dot character of j. first you um, you know append five it's an empty string right append five call this function if it is true then update your answer then now append this character right j goes to this then append this then append this then append this next time your starting character i is incremented starting character is 2 again start from 2 append 2 then 3 then 3 and so on now what this function is doing is valid it's simple right you pass a string it checks how many consecutive pairs are there i equals to 1 i less than s dot length i plus plus check for the consecutive characters check the i th and i minus 1th character if you have the same character that, that means you have got a pair at last you have to just return that if the number of pairs that you have got is less than equals to 1 that means it's a valid string and if it's a valid string update your answer right the length of the string will be j minus i plus 1 right simple because suppose you, suppose you are at the 0th index so if you generate a substring from 0 to 0 that means the length is 1 right j minus i plus 1 that's why so that's why it's j minus i plus 1 right so yeah that's it for this solution as i told you you can write an optimized approach as well i i generally show what i have written in the contest and i also tell you what could be an optimized approach right because in real world you do not come up with the most optimized solution in the one go right in, in the first go uh, so yeah that's an ideal i would say situation uh, but yeah that's it for the solution i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case you have any queries related to the solution mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye